My role this morning is to welcome you to our event, our colloquium, Open Science Colloquium. First of all, let me hasten to register an apology on behalf of my land manager, Professor Corley Vitoon, who unfortunately had to allow us to proceed with this colloquium in her absence. It was one of the most considered des decisions we had to take. She certainly would have loved to have been part of this event. Colleagues, allow me to acknowledge the presence of our leaders in higher education, our Vice Chancellor and Rector, Professor Francis Peterson, and Professor Amdbauer, who is the CEO of the University of South Africa Forum, USAF, formerly known as uh, Higher Education South Africa, HISA. I would like to welcome you warmly to our event. Your presence says to, to us, you understand that this bigger picture of Open Access 2020 and believe in, in its worth for the country and most importantly, its value in the publishing arena. So welcome to both of you, Seth. We also have in our mixed colleagues who will be taking part in this program, colleagues who have thankfully agreed to share their knowledge, their different thoughts that are linked to open access. They are indicated in the program and will be duly introduced by our facilitators. One of them, Dr. Gareth O'Neill, is in the Netherlands and will be presenting to us via Skype. I would like to say to you, our speakers and our facilitators, welcome to what we regard as one of the most important events in research. We are looking forward to learning from, more from you about this important subject in scholarly communication. Allow me, colleagues, to extend a word of appreciation and welcoming message to members of the rectorate, so I don't see them here, probably they are coming, our bosses are delayed in most cases. Um, to the deans and the vice deans, hopefully they will come. To the directors, I've seen one of our directors, a director of internationalization, thank you for coming. Um, to our directors of academic and support service departments, to our academics and researchers. I've heard that they also have research fellows from CUT. You're most welcome. Making time for the colloquia says to us, you are keen to know about developments that affect dissemination of your scholarly output. This is pleasing to us as Open Access 2020 is actually an important call to all of us who are involved in the development and publication of knowledge that you produce for the good of the world. Not all of us could be here in person, so we have arranged uh, live streaming the event in order to reach as many colleagues as possible. So I'm hoping that we have some, some from Kwakwa, if maybe we could show at one point, maybe if we have anybody there from Welcome Campus, from South Campus, from Sol Plaki University, people had indicated as they were registering that they'll be joining us remotely. Um, so I'd like to also extend a word of welcome to them. Um, I have also been informed that we also have our other colleagues, librarians, from other universities who have connected with us remotely. I hope they can hear us. We'd like to extend a word of welcome to them. They are part of the family. We pray that technology stay put. I just can't tell you what a pleasure and privilege it is for me to be here and welcoming all of you today, colleagues. This is a great day for me for two reasons. One, the two university libraries, as Juliano has explained, University of the Free State Library and Central University of Technology Library, this is our event we have jointly 
planned for this, shared the resources, the costs. I'm excited about what we have done to come up with this. We are looking forward to more successful collaborative ventures. And of course, also welcoming um, Sol Plaiki University Library. But the second reason that particularly excites me is the possibility of signing a declaration that will contribute towards hugely disrupting the publication industry and opting for the real openness. We have seen Uber disrupting the taxi industry. We have seen Netflix disrupting the movies rental industry. Open Access 2020 is a disruption in the publication industry. It is not a disruption for the sake of disruption, but it is disruption for the development of our country through wider and free access to knowledge by all citizens of not only our country, but of all the citizens of the world. Your presence means we will be able to share with you local, national, and international developments in this disruption. <laughs> Creating the much needed awareness and advocacy that will assist you in making informed choices and decisions about the dissemination of knowledge that we all produce. Please make use of this opportunity to be well informed about the two open access publishing modules, modules which is the Open Access 2020 referred to as Plan X, Plan S, and the America Publishing Model. Would like to ask you to help us to spread the word with our other colleagues and sign the declaration that we think should be the outcome of this engagement. Once again, welcome to the Open Access, Open Science Colloquium. Thank you.